Hi everybody, so here I have my Samsung S8 Plus phone and I've had it for a couple of days now and I'll be honest with you, I cannot put it down. Um, this is a really, really great phone. It's very sleek. It looks like a nice little chocolate bar. The battery life on this thing is excellent. The screen, it is to die for. It's a really, really lovely screen uh, because there's pretty much virtually no bezel on the phone so the screen really looks really good um, um, when I use it. Um, so of course uh, I will be doing a deep dive review on this phone showing you the screen, movie watching, gameplay shortly but the purpose of this video is to talk about this little thing called the deck station. What this does it turns this into a workstation. Yes um, it's a docking station as you can see by the uh, picture here and of course there's no wires you just rest this phone into this dock here and um, which we're going to show you in a second, there are a number of ports on this that provide connectivity. So there's a USB ports, there's USB type C ports, um, there's you know, HDMI out. So you can actually then connect this up to a large screen TV, a large screen monitor, as well as other peripherals like you know, Bluetooth keyboards, Bluetooth mouse, even Bluetooth gamepads. So just imagine turning this little powerhouse into a full fledged you know, Android powered workstation as well as a Android powered home game console system. So let's take this out of the box and let's look at the deck station in a bit more detail here. Okay, so uh, I have to cut this so I can get my trusty cutting knife. So let's look on the side here, um, supports UHD 4K, so UHD 4K output, HDMI, so that's the, um, just imagine 4K um, content on your TV through your Samsung S8 Plus, through this deck station. Um, of course it supports up to 100 megabytes uh, per second Ethernet, so there's of course an RJ45 connection uh, port on this, which we're going to see in a sec, and it has two USB 2.0 ports as well. So there is the, nothing else in there. Um, let see the back here, it just shows you how to connect it to USB 2.0 um, 2 ports, Ethernet port, HDMI out, and USB Type-C. Good, it has USB Type-C, which is great. Uh, right. So, what I love about Samsung is its simplicity. Just like its competitors, Apple, you know, the packaging is simple. Um, and the actual products themselves, it's not a, there's not a lot of clutter. So, just feeling this in my hand, it actually has a little bit of weight to it. Um, so it's chock full of great technology. It's the bottom, and here in the back, if you look closely, we have a number of ports. So here are the two USB 2.0 ports right here, and here's our HDMI out again. It supports Ultra HD 4K content. Here we have our USB Type-C uh, port. And here's our RJ45 um, Ethernet port, high-speed um, fast Ethernet port. Okay, so of course with the USB Type-C, um, in addition to transferring data, it actually powers up the system and um, charges it, right? So that's what it looks like. So I just see this little arrow here, you press this and it just opens up like that. And when you want to close it for storage or transportation, you just close it like that. So on the side view, see this little arrow here, if I press it like this on the side, it just clips open like that and it stays in that position, right? It doesn't move. Um, it has a little spring mechanism that keeps it in place and then you just press it. Um, here at the bottom, we have our USB type C um, mail connector which plugs into the bottom of the um, of your phone so you take your phone of course and plug it in plug it directly in here and it rests that's what it looks like so here's the quick start guide let's just move you over here for a second thank you 
Okay. So we looked at the ports and this thing at the back, I wanted to know what those slits were. So G, G says that they are, it's a van vent. Yes, I was, I was pretty much on spot on. It wasn't a set of speakers, of course. So these are, it's a fan vent, right? Because, you know, you have this plugged in, you're, you know, pumping out content to a large screen TV and all that. Um, this, you know, unit will get hot. So the fan vent actually helps keep the phone cool. So the first thing you do when sitting at your Samsung DeX is to connect the power supply. Now here we have the USB type C connector. So what we're going to do, we take our power supply that came with the Samsung um, S8 Plus. Now make sure that you are going to use the power supply that has the adaptive fast charging um, uh, stamp on it, right? Because that's the uh, special um, power supply needed for the S8 Plus to work well with the DeX. So I'm going to plug this into the wall. And I'm going to plug this end the other end of the power supply into the USB type C port here like so. So I just plug this in to the wall and once I've done that I then take the HDMI cable from my television set and plug it into the HDMI port on the DeX dock. Next push my finger down right here at the front and it opens up so then I plug this into the dock make sure that they fit smooth there like that so i have a logitech wireless keyboard and mouse here and here's the little uh, mini receiver that it comes with so i'm going to connect the mini receiver in the back here uh, in one of the available usb ports and I'm just going to hook this into the dock, put this into its, into the dock, like that. Let's wait for a second. And there is the Samsung DeX. So I have my full mouse and um, keyboard functionality. Right, I didn't have to, you know automatically everything has been set up, which is really really cool. And there's even an extra um, USB port in the back that I can connect something else. Because I am big into gaming, I can connect my trusty gamepad here. This is my um, Rock Candy gamepad. Comes with its own little mini receiver as well, so I'm going to plug that as well into the back, into one of the other available USB ports. So I'll leave that there for now. Um, let me just turn it on. Okay, so let's uh, play around with this here. See, so in the lower right hand corner is where you get all your notifications, all your pop ups, and stuff from there. So, as you can see here on the lower right, on the lower left hand side here, um, we have uh, an apps button and a recent button. And we have our home button. So those are the same three buttons that you would normally find at the bottom of your uh, Samsung phone, right? Your action buttons. And then here are all of, all of my open apps that I have right now on the phone. So as you can see there, I have like one, two, I have like four games there that are open. And I also have a device maintenance window open and um, the settings page, right? So if I was to go, for example, to the settings page, I can just click on this. And then here's the settings page right here. So I can just move that around, put that there. Um, if I want to open the device maintenance page, I can press that. And what's good is that each window comes up in its own space. So I can actually look at multiple windows at the same time on my on my phone. Um, and I'm just using this interface as though I was using like a normal Mac, Mac um, workstation or Windows workstation, right? Left mouse button. I can, you know, on this, I'm using, I'm, I'm mainly a PC guy a lot of, at times. So I'm using my, my mouse I like normal. I'm clicking and dragging and I'm, you know, changing the size of the windows. And you now let's go into maps, for example. I can go into maps because uh, this is the app. I can, you know, set up just everything that I would normally do on my phone. It's the same exact um, actions and stuff that I'm doing here as well.
So right now, um, let's continue in the tour here. So there are, you know, what I really love about this interface is that, you know, down here you can see all of your active apps. Um, and then over here, um, you can actually access all of your functions. Like uh, you can look at the, the um, you can switch to screen mirroring. Um, you can, um, what's this, Android system, select external keyboard type, um, all these functions here. So you can get access to the Galaxy apps. Um, and um, uh, so pretty much all your notifications here. I can see, see my, see my Wi-Fi, um, Wi-Fi signal, battery, um, battery power, you know, battery levels on my phone. Um, I can see here, you know, keyboard settings and the date and all that. So, and then if I want to make this uh, menu smaller, I just click that arrow and it makes it smaller. And I can make it bigger. So pretty much notifications, access to all of your like, settings and stuff like that. And um, pretty much this is like the, the mini um, menu here to, to manage your system. Over here is where you get you can actually see your active applications. What I like about that um, is that you can actually open each application in a separate window. Um, so I've been running a number of games here. I was just testing, just seeing um, how well... Um, this phone can handle um, multiple windows. Um, so as you can see, you know, I have these games here running all in parallel. So you can really multitask, right? You can do all that while, you know, surfing the web. Um, multiple windows. So it's, it has that nice Windows environment. Turn the volume a bit. So you can open multiple windows. So I had a couple of games here open. So I have AVP Rev Evolution. I also have um, this Air Attack 2 here game. Uh, let's open a couple of the apps. So I can even surf the web. Um, so you have multiple windows that you can open up. So this is where you know the productivity factor comes in, right? Um, just like you would on on a real, you know, on a on a workstation, right? Um, so I can have, and to think you're doing all of this from your smartphone, right? Um, this is like the evolution of, you know, productivity, right? So I can surf the web here. Yeah, travel band in effect. Um, and then I have a couple of games open. Um, I can then check uh, my files here and I can access my images here audio you know, videos I have any documents um, even APK files I can actually get access to them right here um, and then I can go and look into the internal storage on my phone and I can surf um, and get access to my movies and here's where I would have my pictures and videos from my phone everything right so this this is a really great platform for I mean it looks like I'm working on a, you know, on a PC or on a Mac, a Mac workstation, right? And to think this is all coming from this, uh, my smartphone, right? My Samsung S8, um, S8 Plus. So, you know me, I love the game, so... Alright, so you can multitask, right? Just like on a real workstation. Alright, so I can game. Alright. I can uh, some productivity apps. Surf the web. Alright. Um, so yeah, so this is the Samsung uh, DeX stock. I mean, it really, and if you think you have a powerful phone, yes you do, but if you really wanna knock it out the park, get the Samsung DeX uh, dock, and then you, you can, you know, from a productivity perspective, just think of the capabilities of this. You can take this to the office, you can do your presentations on this dock, um, through this dock to, 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 your, to your staff. Um, you can collaborate using this, this platform as well. And then when you're done, you can just take your phone and, you know, go on the train, right? It's really great. I think this is where, personally, I think this is where smartphones are evolving to now, where the 
modern day desktop PC at the office and your smartphone are going to turn into this one thing the smartphone because the smartphone is so powerful now um, where you know your, all your work and everything all your files are stored you know in the cloud or you can have them stored on here as well because there's a lot of storage on your phone you have the, the desktop um, the dock so you can actually access you know use your keyboard and other per peripherals like your your gamepad for gaming and it's uh yeah it boggles the imagination so that's just a quick uh, tour of the Samsung DeX. Again, it's a simple little dock that you buy separately. Um, and I know it does work with the, it's designed to work with the Samsung um, S8 and S8 Plus phones. Hey everybody, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm gonna ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here, click on that. And that will take you to our website, www.redtechbot.com. When you get on that site, there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter. And when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address, you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways. And by tech giveaways, these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away. Uh, and these are some examples. There's other stuff as well. Um, and the good news is, you're, you know, you just have to enter your email address once and, you know, it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address, of course, to, to contact the winner, to tell them, hey, you've won something. Um, and, you know, it's it's uh, it's really cool. And, of course, the newsletter will have, you know, you know updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know, what's coming up next, um, you know, new stuff uh, in the industry and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really, 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 really nice newsletter that we're gonna be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is, on this side on the screen here, up here, on my left, uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now by subscribing, of course, you will be you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is, I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be, you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So, yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day.